Hi, this is Bill Chan with Five Elements of Fulfilling Life. And today I want to talk to you about making our dreams come true, right? Setting a goal and actually achieving it. Now, I know that you probably heard a lot of mantras, like from motivation speakers talking about, hey, you can achieve anything in life that you want, right? Now, you could actually say that to yourself every morning, but if you don't believe it, what good does it do, right? Actually does more harm than good, according to psychologists. However, um, Daniel Pink, a, a great author and um, a motivational speaker, he proposed the idea of instead of telling yourself you're so great, ask yourself a question. Say, if you want to, um, achieve a a huge project or you want to um, start your own business you ask yourself can I do this and if the answer is yes how okay so then you come up with your, a plan because your brain is now forced to think right to think about how to do it once you have a plan that's not good enough M Mel Robbins Mel Robbins is an excellent speaker and, and a writer. And she proposed this five second rule. She says to make yourself start anything before your critical self can have a chance to criticize yourself and say, hey, no, you won't be able to do it. And, and um, making all that in, in a critic about your negativity, you should count backwards five seconds okay the way you do it is counting backwards five four three two one go and then you jump off your bed or wherever you're sitting and just take action towards it now great plans without action doesn't get you anywhere right you need to take action and this motivates and and pushes you forward drive you towards that that goal that you really want. And every day you should take that action with a five count rule. So five second move, five, four, three, two, one, go, right? And the other great uh, um, suggestion she makes is giving yourself a five, five in the, high five in the mirror. Yeah, go, right? Giving you a big high five. Because when you give yourself a big high five, you're acknowledging yourself. You're feeling good when you're giving high fives to anyone. It triggers a, a happy feeling, a, a positive feeling right, of achievement. So when you do that to yourself, you're actually giving yourself a lot of compassion, a lot of love, and, and the motivation to go for whatever in life that you're looking for, right? And you're going to love yourself more and more. So remember three things, right? The first thing is ask yourself if you can do it, whatever you set your goals on. Second, how you're going to do it, come up with a plan. And then third, take action. Five, four, three, two, one, go, right? And lastly, always give yourself a high five to make yourself feel good. And you can achieve anything in life if you put these rules into action. Thank you.